my birthday. Breakfast excuse, doll. I'm too busy for breakfast. There's no excuse for skipping breakfast, especially when you can rise and dine with easy, guilt-free recipes. Like my Denver omelet in a mug, double O cinnamon apple breakfast bowl, cannoli stuffed French toast nuggets, and my magical growing oatmeal bowl. Plus, hot info on cold cereal and your best choices for breakfast on the go. I'm Lisa Lillian, better known as Hungry Girl, keeping it guilt-free and delicious. So hungry. Today's show is all about breakfast, guilt free breakfast. And starting off, I am making a Denver omelet in a mug. An omelet in a mug. That is right, you heard that correctly. Egg mugs have become a hungry girl staple. I have so many of these recipes. I have in this mug chopped green bell pepper, a quarter cup, and two tablespoons of chopped onion that I have microwaved for about a minute until it's soft. I am now blotting these veggies, getting the excess moisture out, because when it cooks up, it gets a little bit wet. And then I'm gonna make this entire breakfast in this mug right here. So how I started, I sprayed my mug with a little. Is it easier for you? This is all about simplicity. Okay, so you have no excuse not to make and eat this. Get that in there for just one more minute, maybe a little less, we'll keep an eye on it. Go omelet, go omelet. It is done. Denver omelet complete. Wow, look how beautiful this is. You can see the ham, the cheese, the peppers, the egg. This whole mug, 122 calories, less than one gram of fat, if you can believe it. Oh, look at that. Mmm. This is a hot, cheesy, eggy, protein-packed breakfast. But you know what? There are a lot of amazing guilt-free breakfasts that you can find. You just have to know how to shop. Just like your mom told you, breakfast really is the most important meal of the day. And so many people find it challenging. The truth is there are tons of guilt-free options. So I'm gonna give you right now my top eight no guilt hungry girl breakfast finds. Starting with bread. Now this is light bread. It has about 45 calories a slice. It's loaded with fiber and it tastes great. And this is one of my staples. Moving on to eggs. I like egg substitute instead of regular eggs. This is actually made from real egg whites. It's great, it has about 60 calories for a half cup. I will eat a full cup of these things because I am a protein maniac. I like them for scrambles, omelets, they rock. A lot of people think that it, you know frozen waffles are off limits if you're watching what you eat and that is just not the case. You just have to read the labels carefully. Look for waffles that have about 170 calories or so for two, and then put some low sugar preserves on them, some light buttery spread, and you are good to go. Waffles, they're all right. And moving on to cheese. Everybody loves cheese. Go for either fat-free cheese slices or low calorie, low fat cheese wedges. They're like a cream cheese swap, and they're totally creamy, and I love them on everything. Fat-free cottage cheese, a no-brainer as well. It's great with fruit and it tastes great. Next up, these are Fuji apples, my personal favorite apples of all time. They're tart, they're juicy, they're sweet, and I eat an apple every single day. I love these things. And now we've got oats. Oats, these are the slow cooking kind. They're better for you. They make a great bowl of oatmeal. This is definitely a kitchen staple. And I actually use these to make pancakes. Maybe one day I'll show you how. My next find, almond milk. This is unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It has 40 calories for a full cup. That's half the calories of skim milk, and it has like twice the flavor. When I first discovered this stuff, I like freaked out. I could not stop making smoothies. I can't live without it. And finally, sausages. I used to think I couldn't have sausages because they're so high in fat and calories. That is not the case. I love these. These are turkey sausages. You wanna look for sausages that have about 60 to 70 calories a link and that are low in fat. Love these. Okay, those are my top eight guilt-free breakfast finds. Now you have absolutely no excuse to ever skip breakfast again. Coming up, there are so many different kinds of cereal, there's no way to know which ones to choose. Or is there? I am totally on to you. I give you some hot info on cold cereal. 
Then you will love my cannoli stuffed French toast nuggets. And later, I'll whip up my double-o cinnamon apple breakfast bowl. It's so super easy and super satisfying. And each of these bowls... Tonight's our last dinner before we head to Tuscany. We're having this turkey sausage and beans tonight. Would you believe that we have to get a chicken nanny? It's like a pet seating agency. What if I... Wednesday at 10, Cooking Channel. Stay hungry. Today we are all about breakfast, and right now I am giving you the lowdown on cold cereal. Okay, this is some harsh reality here, people. Cold cereal, it's not what you think. And each of these bowls has 110 calories worth of cereal. And look, the serving sizes are vastly different. 110 calories worth of nuggets, it's only about a quarter of a cup, it's not impressive. I wouldn't go for this. Next, this is 110 calories worth of granola. It's also loaded with fat. Granola is what I like to call a food faker. People think granola is healthy and they load up their bowl with granola. That is a huge mistake. Flakes. These flakes have 110 calories. It's a nice full cup, not bad. But the best bang for your calorie buck, this unsweetened puffed cereal, puffed wheat, you get about two cups for only 110 calories. That is pretty cool. Now the thing is, people just load up cereal bowls. When I was a kid, I would just keep loading and piling in the cereal and eating and eating and eating, reading the back of the box. These days, I build cereal bowls that are tremendous, but I'm smart about it. So I use two full cups of the unsweetened puffs. And then to that, hungry. Today we are all about breakfast, and right now I am giving you the lowdown on cold cereal. Okay, this is some harsh reality here, people. Cold cereal, it's not what you think. And each of these bowls has 110 calories worth of cereal. And look, the serving sizes are vastly different. 110 calories worth of nuggets, it's only about a quarter of a cup, it's not impressive. I wouldn't go for this. Next, this is 110 calories worth of granola. It's also loaded with fat. Granola is what I like to call a food faker. People think granola is healthy and they load up their bowl with granola. That is a huge mistake. Flakes. These flakes have 110 calories. It's a nice full cup, not bad. But the best bang for your calorie buck, this unsweetened puffed cereal, puffed wheat, you get about two cups for only 110 calories. That is pretty cool. Now the thing is, people just load up cereal bowls. When I was a kid, I would just keep loading and piling in the cereal and eating and eating and eating, reading the back of the box. These days, I build cereal bowls that are tremendous, but I'm smart about it. So I use two full cups of the unsweetened puffs. And then to that, I add a cup of flakes. These are also unsweetened. How big that bowl is. And then a handful of these fiber twigs adds a lot of fiber, not a lot of calories, adds crunch. And then I top this off with a full cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk only has 40 calories for a full cup. And look at that. What do you have here? A ginormous cereal bowl that has about 300 calories, including the milk. That's pretty awesome. Mmm, that is amazing. You know what's really shocking? The amount of calories and fat that are in your typical on-the-go breakfasts. Check this out. So let's talk about on-the-go breakfast foods. You stop at a gas station or a convenience store and you're hungry, what do you get? Well, for starters, coffee. If it comes already with milk or pre-sweetened or it's a latte or some sort of fancy mocha, it is gonna be bad news. Those coffees have about 350 or 400 calories each. If they offer it, just get some regular plain coffee, add some no calorie sweetener and a little fat free milk and you're good to go. Now moving on to the food. See these bagels here? Buttered bagels, bagels and cream cheese. They look tempting, no go. These things have about 500 to 650 calories and are so not worth it. Now here is something that's a little bit sad and shocking. This granola parfait, the yogurt and the honey and the fruit, it looks like it would be a healthy choice. I actually took this to the lab and had it tested and it clocked in with about 470 calories and 13 grams of fat. That is insane. To make better choices there, look for things like whole fruits 
apples, bananas, 